This plant behind me is gorgeous, but aside from that, it is also a magnet for pollinators such as bees. It's medicinal and it's extremely drought tolerant. So let's talk about it. This is Vitex, also known as Chaste Tree or Agnes Castus is the scientific name. It sometimes gets confused with butterfly bush because the bloom looks very similar to butterfly bush, but the leaf, well, it's totally different. So look at this. It kind of looks like you know, one of those plants that you're not allowed to grow here in Texas. The leaves are also extremely fragrant if you do crush them up. I also find the blooms to be fragrant, but in a better way. This plant can get quite tall, up to 10, even 20 feet tall in its original form. However, there are some newer cultivars or varieties of Vitex that are much more compact, and there are even some alternate colors and leaf colors out there. They are deciduous, so they will lose all their leaves in the winter, but they are very vigorous growers, and once they're established, they can be very, very drought tolerant. If you want them to bloom well, you need to give them at least a half day of sun, although they would prefer to be in full sun all day. Although this is not a native plant, you will see it covered with pollinators whenever it is in bloom. Bees especially are drawn to this plant. It has been used for centuries medicinally. It can help with menopause symptoms and other medicinal uses. Now, if there's one negative thing I will add to this is that this plant is capable of reseeding itself. And so if you are in an area where this could become invasive, or if you just don't want to deal with having seedlings popping up in different parts of your yard, you might want to miss this one. Although some of the newer cultivars are much less likely to put out seedlings. Oh, and it grows best in zones six through nine. So this is one that's definitely worth checking out, adding to your landscape.